This video covers the process of digitizing artwork by scanning it. Um, I'm going to be using a software called Epson Scan with my Epson scanner at home. This will give you a good idea of what sorts of settings to use in the general procedure. My artwork is an 11 by 14 and so it's not going to be able to fit in one piece on my scanner which um, scans only up to about eight and a half inches wide. So I'm going to scan it sideways in two pieces and then merge the two parts in um, Adobe Bridge. So first of all, to scan it, I'm going to scan it using professional mode because it will give me better results. I also want to use a reflective document type, scanner glass, and photo. The important one is photo um, because you have the option of scanning it either, either as a printed document or as an image document and photo is going to give you that image sort of result that you want. You can scan it using um, different ranges of grayscale or color. Grayscale uses less, um, less space in your computer, so unless you actually have colors in your document, you might as well um, use grayscale. Um, it, for resolution, if you're going to be scanning it and producing um, an image that's the same size or smaller than what you've currently got, 300 dpi is going to be fine. Now if you want to to crop into your piece and um, just produce part of it as your finished work, I would recommend scanning at a larger dpi like uh, maybe 450 or even 600 if you're going to crop into a fairly small area of your piece. For the purposes of this demonstration I'm just going to scan it at 300 which is perfectly perfectly good in a standard DPI for printing. Now, um, I tend to use unsharp mask and dust removal. You should check your scanner surface to make sure that it's clean because you know the software can only do so much if you've got a lot of dust and crap on your on your scanner. But the dust removes mo I can't talk. Uh, dust removal helps to get rid of the um, excessive. Um, little teeny bits of um, stuff that show up whenever you're scanning. All right, so um, I will go ahead and preview what's on the scanner right now, just to make sure it looks good. Um, it looks like it's straight and everything's in there, so I'll go ahead and scan it. And at this point, I'm going to choose a a name. and a start number. I'm going to set it to 1 and then I need to figure out where I'm going to put it. So up under files to use I'm going to go to choose and I'm going to put this on the desktop. It's just going to be easier and quicker to find. And I want to scan this as either a JPEG or as a TIFF. A TIFF is going to give you a larger file and it also gives you more information to work with. So again, if you wanted to crop in on it, um, I would recommend using the TIFF. If it's going to be about the same size, go ahead and use a JPEG and then click OK. Alright, so now I've got this image on my laptop and I can scan the other half. So now I've put the other half into the um, scanner and I'm going to preview it and everything looks good so I'll go ahead and scan that. So now I have both sides of the artwork scanned and I'm ready to combine them in Adobe Bridge.